Well, hello everybody. This is an update. An update video to the planter wall blocks video that you guys probably already watched. And if you haven't, definitely go see that one first. This is a longevity video to show you how this setup has stood the test of time. This is spring, almost summer, it's late May. We got a modest garden this year. We're not going big. Um, got other things to focus on, but I still have some uh, some stuff growing. I think I'm going to actually plant a little bit more zucchini since there's room for it. Um, but, so, as you can see, the, the wall blocks themselves, I haven't doctored anything. I've, I'm only trimming around this. this is the, probably the only problem is when it's near grass, it's kind of hard to trim around there. So you got to get in there with scissors or stay on top of it with a weed whacker as often as possible. But as you can see, the boards that I got, um, they stood up pretty good. They're not even beginning to deteriorate. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> Bertie still loves to get into the garden, but you see that? It doesn't, there's no weakness or anything. It's very strong and sturdy. And it's holding up two years in. I don't see any reason why this won't go another two or three years. I see people constantly having to replace their garden boxes like once a year. And if you buy these, then you'll never have to do that. They last forever. They do so good. But the only, like I said, the only downside are around the edges. You get some weeds and stuff. But they, they haven't come out of adjustment. They're not moving. There's no problems with them. And as you can see, the gardens uh, love this setup. And very versatile, you can move it. We had another one there and we have that one. Oop, focus. We have one there, but we're gonna do some renovating right here. So we're cleaning all this area out. We're moving stuff around right now. And uh, so all these chairs are gonna be trash. And then that one is gonna be moved to this space right here is gonna be another one right there. We're gonna do a little strawberry patch there soon. So, just an update, don't hesitate to buy it guys, it's a really good setup, a couple bucks a block, you're looking at like $40 investment for something that's going to be versatile and last a long time for you, I think it's worth it guys. So here's the 2019 update of that same setup from a few years ago, and still going strong, still got the blackberries, um, we've planted a little tangerine tree and some oregano and some other things. This year, it kind of the seeds came up on the basil, and then now they're down. And we got some cilantro growing in there, and uh, we're kind of doing like the wild thing. We're not really doing rows. And then there's some um, arugula popping up, and then a couple of carrots in here and there. But yeah, we're not going too big. We're gonna do the zucchini mostly, and of course the tomatoes. We love the tomatoes, so. I'm doing the keto diet, so I can't really have a lot of the tomato stuff, but the zucchinis are going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, if you're into uh, gardening or you're looking to get started, check out my planter wall block video. And then this is the update to show you how long it'll last. It do, does very well. These are, by the way, these are green onions along here. Just trimmed them back so they'll grow nice and fresh, come up uh, new shoots. You always want to give them another start. So... Anyway, that's it guys. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it and then this setup has helped you. If you did, post up a link to your video of what you guys did at your house with it. I'd love to see that. So until the next one, uh, we'll see you on the next adventure guys.